what will be covered in chapter 5, vibration isolation and the vibration absorption. The theory that are related with vibration isolation and vibration absorption or tuning of vibration are already covered in chapter 2 and chapter 3. So chapter 5 is pretty much handling the how to apply those theory in reality. Okay? So when we study chapter 5 is the, the, is the good time you, you guys really enjoy the vibration. You can, you can have some relax because and also, if you feel that you do not have enough theoretical background on vibration, that the, 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 the I'm sorry, uh, that will be the uh, pretty good time to to review uh, the chapters you have some some you you didn't quite understand. Okay. So uh, we will spend about two weeks to cover chapter five. Sorry. Okay. And also, I found that uh, model analysis, model analysis, is somehow really tedious. Because what we do is, when we have undamped uh, multi-degree of freedom system, the equation can be written like this, okay. in homo or homogeneous. Okay. Where the x vector denotes the displacement, for example, of vibratory system, the displacement of each mass. For example, if you have spring mass dash process. A spring mass system, then if we denote this is the uh, displacement of mass 1, and x2t is the displacement of mass 2, then this displacement vector has two components, one is x1 and one, the other one is x2. And if you have another displacement, for example, rotation or whatever, we can just add the element on displacement vector. Okay? For example, for example, if you have a suspension system that is passing the road, okay? Then you might model this suspension system as one spring, and then you might you might you might consider the uh, the flexibility of the rim, for example, right? The flexibility might have the flexibility in this direction as well as you might want to know the effect of the flexibility of this rim in this direction. Therefore, you might add some flexibility in rotational direction. And then you may say, I want to know the displacement of this vehicle's wheel, the rotation. Right? Then you can put this theta over here. But anyway, anyway, no matter what kind of coordinate you are using, we can always end up with the equation look like this: m matrix x double die 
plus kx equal to zero. Okay? Then our job is to how to how to solve this equation, matrix equation. Okay, what we learned is the first step is let the displacement equal to right. The M is the mass matrix. What is it? M to M to the minus one half. What is it? What is it? For example, if this is M and M, this is K and K and K, what is M to the minus one half? Then, start with what you know. What does the M matrix look like? M matrix look like, like this, right? Very quiet. An M matrix must be look like that, right? Well, how about the K matrix look like? Is it clear? Do you think this is correct? Should it be K? Now how to check whether this K matrix is correct or not? How to check it? What does this mean? What does this mean? Reaction? Okay, what does it mean? Minus K. And what does this mean? Or what does KIJ mean? And what does MIJ mean? Okay, relation? The effect of Effect of other mass to the one mass. Okay, that's effect of other mass to the one mass. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go back. You see, the text text is good text. If you, if you, I mean, you have to read the text very carefully. Text in 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 the first place, text is is very confusing. But if you read, read, and again, then you find that our text is pretty good because it touches every site, every point. But text is not good to grab the highlight. Where you grab the highlight in this class. So what I do is I give you the highlight, meaning that I give you, for example, the uh, main structure of the building. And your job is to put exterior and interior and put your furniture in the structure. I don't have a time to give you all the furnitures and interior decorations for you. I only provide the main structure that I call highlight. Okay? So, what is KIJ? What is KIJ? Okay, let's go back to when we when we set up the equation. Okay? Newton's law applied to this mass. Then I say mx double dot, x1 double dot, has to be balanced by the unbalanced force. Then I say x1 moves this amount, and x2 moves this amount, and assuming that x2 moves more than x1. Okay? 